Good evening. I am Dr. Kapil Singhal. I am a senior consultant neurologist at Max Hospital, Vaishali, Gaziabad. Parkinson's disease is a common disorder which usually affects people above 60 years of age. Almost 1% of population above 60 years of age can have Parkinson's disease. So what is Parkinson's disease? Who are the patients who have Parkinson's disease? Is it treatable? If yes, what are the treatment options available? And what to do? This is what we are going to talk about today. So the common symptoms of Parkinson's disease are tremors, slowness of the body, that is a person starts walking slowly, he does all his activities slowly, slowly, takes more time to wear clothes, takes more time to shave, can have difficulty in using spoons, knives and everything becomes slow. Person starts walking slowly with small steps and has a tendency to fall or has imbalance. So these are the common symptoms of Parkinson's disease and if a person is having any two or three of these symptoms, the possibility of him having Parkinson's disease is quite high. How does it happen? So we have a system in the brain which is called as basal ganglia and there is a chemical called as dopamine. So Parkinson's disease basically occurs due to the decrease in dopamine in the brain and because of that that balanced organ of the brain doesn't work properly and leads to in coordination, slowness and imbalance. Other symptoms of Parkinson's disease which can be present years even before the onset of these symptoms can be constipation, it can be difficulty in sleeping in the form that a person may have a tendency to speak loudly or become violent during the sleep. As the disease advances, tremors increases, imbalance increases, there might be a change of speech, the speech volume may decrease and many other symptoms can occur. So, early identification and early start of treatment is very important. How do we diagnose Parkinson's disease? Parkinson's disease doesn't require any specific test. There is no specific test in the world which can diagnose Parkinson's disease. It's a pure clinical diagnosis which is based on the detailed history of the patient and examination by a good neurologist. If the history and the examination matches, then the possibility of a person having Parkinson's disease is quite high. Why does it occur? There are no specific causes for Parkinson's disease and it is called as neurodegenerative disorder. That is, as the brain ages, there is accumulation of some unwanted substance in the brain which leads to destruction of certain nerve cells which produce dopamine. So what are the treatment options available and is it only medicine or there is some role of surgery also for Parkinson's disease. So as we have understood that dopamine is decreased in Parkinson's disease, the primary treatment is that you replace dopamine in some form. So oral dopamine tablet is available which has to be started under supervision or guidance of a neurologist and the dose has to be modified according to the patient's response. There are number of other medications also available. The common medications are like levodopa or commonly available with the brand name Oxindopa Tidomat. Then dopamine like medications are available which are ropinirol and some other tablets are available. The problem or the good part with these medications is this that a number of symptoms will respond to these medications but there will be a few symptoms which will not respond. After a certain time, that is 8 years, 10 years, it's possible that dopamine's effect is not there or not desired, the desired effect is not there. In that case, a surgery can be planned. The surgery in Parkinson's disease is called deep brain stimulation. So what we do is that you, we implant two small electrodes in the brain, which are stimulated by a motor or a charger, which is again implant, implanting another part of the body. So DBS is a proof therapy which can be which is usually advised for patients who have good response to oral medications but that response is variable or there are number of side effects. New treatment options like some pumps which deliver the medicine in the intestine or 
stomach are also visible. So, if we recognize Parkinson's disease at an early stage and start right treatment, we can completely modify the life of the patient and can improve his work, mobility and lifestyle. Thank you.